it's that time of year. It's time to learn how to make some bows. So tonight we're gonna make three beautiful bows and more importantly, they're all as easy as one, two, three. So let's get ready and make some bows the easy way. All right, way. it's bow making season and it's time to get started learning how to make bows. Now, if you want my opinion, I love Pro Bow the Hand and uh, Pro Bow the Hand 4-in-1. Those are the best bow makers on the market in my opinion, and I will link them down below. But we're gonna do some bows right here, right now by hand to show you how easy it really is, okay? And I'm just using a ribbon that I have a lot of, and so I don't have a lot of this, so this is gonna be a smaller bow. So we're gonna start off with our tail, okay? So we're gonna measure about seven inches here, and then we're gonna gather. Now, what's nice about this ribbon, it's the same on both sides. So I don't have to do a whole lot of guesswork here. And I don't have to twist my hands around a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with nine inches, okay? I'm gonna pinch it nine inches from here to nine inches there, and I'm gonna meet it in the middle and grab it. I'm going to, again, measure nine inches here, nine inches here, and I'm going to uh, gather it, and we're gonna come to the middle, all right? Either way. Let's do that one more time, nine inches, come to the middle. I don't care if your thing is all messed up like mine, it's all right. And then you're gonna do it one more time because that's what we have enough ribbon for, all right? So now we have our loops. So what am I gonna tell you to do, all right? So this is where you can get your wire out or whatever, but I'm gonna just take a zip tie and I'm gonna zip tie this. I've been teaching this method for years and honestly, I just feel like it is so easy and I call it the zip tie bow, but we're gonna do uh, several different methods with this today and just kind of give you an idea of what is possible, okay? So now you're gonna just take your loops and you put your fingers through them and you're going to fluff them up, all right? So I wanna make sure that I cut about the same length. So I'm gonna do seven inches here. In this way, I just used all that ribbon. So I'm gonna just lay this to the side just in case I wanna use that for the center or something. All right, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything else to the tails, but now I'm gonna start on my second bow. And this one is a really fun um, pumpkin print. I'm gonna start with seven inches again. And we are going to do eight inch loops. So I'm gonna take eight inches to eight inches, come right here, eight inches to eight inches and come back. So this one is a little harder because you've got the one side is a good and the other side is bad. So you need to make sure that the right side is showing up. And I tend to just kind of flip my ribbon. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna come back here. And do you understand what I'm doing? This is a good bow recipe. You're doing the same thing each time. All right, so is all my loops exactly the same? Probably not, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cut this, so it's about the same length, and I'm gonna take another zip tie, and I'm gonna go over top, all right? This is what's fun, is you can make a bow and just kinda keep topping them and use as many different bows and lengths as you want. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to set this one to the side, work on your little bow loops, okay? And I'm gonna like twist this one and we're gonna say, you know, I need you to go the right way and we're just gonna make it go the right way, okay? So I'm gonna have one going out this way and one going out that way, all right? And now we're gonna take our smaller ribbon. This is one and a half inch. Everything is wired. I really recommend wired ribbon. You're gonna start off with seven inches about there and you're going to do now seven. This is the seven bow, okay? So we're gonna come, meet in the middle, do that again, measure another seven. Notice that it's always the same number each time. Measure, come back to the middle. Measure, come back to the middle, all right? So that's where we're gonna leave it. So we did, this is like two loops on each side. We're gonna make sure that we cut the same here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to layer this on here like so. I'm not gonna put another zip tie um, on the little one and then attach it. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna go through and now attach it all together. Now 
Now, this is where it gets a little fun and you can just make a really cute bow and you don't have to, you know, hold it all at once. You can just do different sections of different ribbons and it's just super cute. But that gives you your first bow. I think it's super cute. What you can do is you can take a piece of wire and run that wire through the back of one of those zip ties and then you can attach it on whatever wreath you want. But that is a simple, simple bow. So let's get on to the next one. Okay, bow number two. We are gonna work with this four inch bow um, ribbon because it's really popular right now and a lot of people are using it. So if you have this much ribbon, don't be intimidated to use it. We're gonna make a big bow and it's gonna be beautiful, okay? I promise. So the first thing we're gonna do, because we're gonna have a longer tail, I wanna make sure I have about 15 inches down here. So I'm gonna take about that. I've had this ribbon for a long time. Um, I did get it from the reshop. They may still have something like this. I'm not certain that they do. So we're gonna do 12 inches, okay? And we gathered here and we're gonna gather it here. Okay, again, 12 to 12. And we're gonna come to the middle. We're gonna do this two times on each side, okay? I'm not gonna worry that this is all wrinkled. It's really important to make sure that you get them as close as you can, all right? We're gonna bring this back over here. Again, don't worry about that part. It's gonna be a little wrinkled. And we're gonna do it again right here. So we're gonna do, oops, I let go, but I can grab it back. All right, so now we're gonna get another length about the same right there. But before I do that, so that we have our tails about the same, just gonna do this here and I'm gonna take a zip tie and I'm gonna put it in the middle. Now this is a hot mess. Look at that hot mess. It's okay, we're gonna make it look beautiful. And you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, Julie, that is beautiful, okay? So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna cut the tail you need a good pair of scissors. You can get these on Amazon. Um, they're in my Amazon storefront below. I'll list them. They're my favorite pair of scissors and you guys recommended them. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of turn my tails and just literally make the ribbon go the way you want. Look at that. I'm so short there, but that's okay. All right, and I'm going to fluff up the bow here. Cut that. Now, before we move on to a separate um, ribbon, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make a 12 inch, about a 12 inch tail here. Okay, we're going to fold it over this way and then we're gonna fold it over again. All right, on the folded side, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut through. All right, so now I have that. I'm going to take this and I'm gonna get it in the middle here and we're gonna put her right here, okay? So you can do one of two things. You can take a piece of wire or you can take another um, zip tie. I'm just gonna do a zip tie because it's right here. You can use a um, Chanel Sim, all that stuff. If you can hear my elephants, they're upstairs. Do you guys remember years ago I would say, oh, my elephants are at it again. Well, they're at it again, so that's okay. We're gonna keep going. All right, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna lay her to the side. Isn't she beautiful? I love her. And then I tend to try to go, I try to separate patterns and solids. So the next choice I would pick is something that has a solid, and we're gonna use this because it's a little bit fancier. This actually came um, from Hobby Lobby, and I do believe they still sell it. So. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna do another longer tail because we wanna have long tails for this. So I'm thinking about 15 inches. I'm kind of guessing here. I'm gonna gather it. And instead of 12 inches like we did this one, we're gonna go down two inches, guys. So we're gonna go down to the 10 inch mark and we're gonna gather it and come together right here, okay? We're gonna do another 10 inches now you'll see me doing that side up or that side, and I just make sure I turn my hand what other way it needs to go, all right? We're gonna do this again. 
Come back to the middle, do it one more time, and come back to the middle. All right, I'm not worried that this is all clumped or anything. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna take another zip tie. Again, you don't have to use zip ties. If you'd rather get some Chanel stems out, do that. If you want smaller zip ties, do that. It's really more of a preference thing for me. And I love these particular zip ties. I get them on Amazon and they're just really e easy on my hands. Okay, I'm going to cut this the same length, but this is how I like to make my bows because I feel like you can get a bigger, more beautiful look and it doesn't have to be hard, okay? So you're just going to, again, we're gonna make sure that these tails are twisted the way they need to be. And this is really nice ribbon from Hobby Lobby, so I would definitely recommend it. This part is really, has a lot of structure to it and I love the gold trim on it. I really feel like it really um, makes it beautiful, okay? So we're gonna lay her over here to the side, okay? See that? But what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get some of that more of that ribbon and we're gonna make a tail. And we're gonna do 10 inches. So we're not gonna go, whatever our loops are, that's what the tail is gonna be. So 10 inches here. Again, fold and then fold over and then cut on the fold right there, okay? We're gonna do this, and we're gonna lay her in the middle here. So now that I've got these, I'm gonna take another zip tie. I know some of you guys are out there, Julie, that's a lot of zip ties, it's okay. It's all right, I, I, I know, I know. But we're making a beautiful bow. This is, she's fancy. She needs a lot of zip ties. She's a fancy girl. Okay, all right, okay. Now we're gonna do the next one at Walmart, sorry. This other Hobby Lobby find, okay. Again, we're gonna make a nice long tail here. And so we did 12 for the first one, 10 for the second one, let's do eight. Come to the middle, measure eight again. Come to the middle, measure eight, come to the middle. And you're just gonna do two loops on both sides. We're, we're keeping it all the same here, okay? All right, and I'm gonna just do this. So one of the things that you can do is I'm gonna grab a little, uh, whatchamacallit, clothespin, and hopefully this won't, yeah, this should be good. I'm also gonna do an eight inch, whoops, we didn't cut that at a right cross here. So we're gonna do another eight. We're gonna do what we just did before. Repeat, rinse and repeat, guys, rinse and repeat. Grab it in the middle. So I'm gonna take this off and put this one right there. Okay, now we're gonna add it to the middle. We're gonna do one more little layer here. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna add one more zip tie. Okay, one more ribbon, again, from the Christmas shop at Hobby Lobby. So all this ribbon came from the Reef Shop in Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna take 15 inches, gonna grab it, and then instead of doing eight, we're gonna go to six. And you're gonna do six inch loops on both sides. I like this because it's got a really nice lining on the back so you can see it. And there we go. All right. We're going to cut off a nice length there and then take our bow all right, and we're gonna take her and we're gonna put one more zip tie, guys, and we're gonna put her all the way down in the center there. Make sure. Now, let me show you a little trick here. Before I attach this whole zip tie, I'm gonna run a wire, and this wire is really thin. I don't know that I would recommend this wire, but here we are. All right, and now we're gonna do this. 
that's the main zip tie that's holding everything together. And if you feel like your zip ties are like getting bulked up, you could now take those apart, all right? All right, we got lots of glitter on here, but we're gonna take a little bit more and we're going to actually, let's see, let's just do a little bit here and we're going to fold it in. And now we're gonna take this little part and we're gonna go over that zip tie band that we just made. And because this is so, so tiny a ribbon, I'm gonna make a little knot here. If you, if you can't make a little knot, then what I would recommend is just taking your wire and just going over it in the back here and securing it that way. I'm gonna cut off the extras. And now, I'm gonna just, let's finish it off. So what I like about this particular style is we've got these really pretty little tails coming through to kind of add just another little bit of just elegance to your wreath or to your bow, I should say. So you don't, here, you don't have to be a florist. You don't have to, to um, know everything there is, but making a bow does not have to be hard. And then what I'm gonna do, since this is my shortest um, ribbon here, well, actually that one is, but we're gonna cut these all the same. right isn't she beautiful and then you can go like this and it kind of just curls everything up I think she's quite the pretty girl All right so I just went shopping in my ribbon section over here in the studio and I forgot all about this beautiful ribbon you want to know where this came from Hobby Lobby, so it has wire in it, which makes it perfect for what we're wanting to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure about 13 inches, okay? And I'm going to do both of these around that. They will probably be too big, but I'd rather have these be too big than not big enough, all right? So we're gonna do this. Then you're going to make nice little dovetails out of them. You guys have been learning. Okay, there's one. And here's two. Now, if you've caught on by now, everything is about measurements and numbers and recipes, okay? So we're going to just put this off here and here, all right? So that's good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of crisscross them and then I'm going to gather them. And once I gather them, you can either take a, since I have this wire here, I'll put this wire on it, but I, man, this wire is super thin and I don't like it, but I don't even know where I got it. Oh goodness. All right, I'm just gonna get it started, all right? And I'm gonna lay it off to the side. All right, might need like a lint roller to get some of the little pieces off. Okay, you've been learning this each time we go through a bow. We're gonna take our tail, we're gonna make it about seven inches long to kind of match what we have over here, okay? Then we're gonna do 12 inch loops for this bow. I'm gonna come back to the middle. I'm gonna grab it, 12 inch loops. Now listen. You don't have to use the same size ribbon I'm using. You can use smaller ribbon, you can use whatever ribbon. I recommend that you use it with wire. So we're gonna do two loops on each side, only because this is so big, all right? And if this was smaller ribbon, I might do three, but since it's so big, we're gonna keep it at two. All right, see, I got a hot mess going on here, that's okay. I'm gonna take a zip tie. But I saw her and I'm like, I gotta use her. <laughs> so, and I 
know this is a little bit longer video than normal. I appreciate you hanging on. Let me know in the comments um, if you want more videos like this. So we're gonna cut this one off about the same size here. All right, and before we move on, I'm just going to dovetail both of those. Oops, that one was not the right angle. Okay, and we're gonna dovetail this one. Okay, let's give her some red, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we are also gonna do, we're gonna do 12 inch links here. So we're gonna do one, two. And you're gonna dovetail both of those. So do that. All right, so now we have them dovetailed. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the black and red or black and white stripe. We're gonna gather it in the middle, take a one, another one of my wires that I don't care for, but that's okay, right? <laughs> and twist it and play it to the side. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our about six inch, six to seven inch tail. All right, and then instead of 12 inches, we're gonna do 10 inches. And let's do one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get three loops on each side here. You can even do this if you're, okay, yep, yeah, we can do that. And another 10 inches. All right. You're gonna cut your tail. I feel like by the time you get to this particular tutorial, you know what you're doing, right? Because you've seen me do the same method, but we're just going to stack it in a different way, add more loops, and make it really, really pretty. So what I wanna do here is I wanna just take another zip tie and we're gonna put it over her and I'm gonna dovetail my edges here and then we're gonna go to the next ribbon. All right, and so I have some of this black sparkly ribbon. And so what I'm gonna do here is make about, oh, about eight to nine inch tails here. Just dovetail these and put them together like you did the other one. All right, so now we're going to do another six to seven inch dovetail or tail, not dovetail yet, but they will be dovetail. Now we're gonna do eight inches here. One, two, this ribbon has a lot of structure to it. Three, I've got a, it's got so much structure, it's being difficult, but that's okay. We'll make her work, right? All right, three. And we're only gonna do two on this. So that red can really pop. And then cut your tail. All right. And I'm just gonna take another wire and put this around this one. I'm gonna dovetail these. This looks a little long, so I'm gonna dovetail her, shorten her up a little bit. I'm gonna get this one back. Yeah, look how big that one is compared. So you're gonna to wanna to have them a, a similarly um, in length. And we're gonna start off with this um, foundational bow here. And I'm gonna take my black and white one and the reason why we're gonna kind of put it, make sure you put it where you can see all these different tails, which is gonna make it really pretty and pop. So I'm gonna take one zip tie here and then I'm gonna connect these. You're gonna start, this is your foundation, right? So we're not gonna put big um, tails on this. This is gonna have special tails and each layer is gonna have a, um, like a tri-point of tails. Then I'm gonna take my next one, and since I have this wire on this one, I'm just going to wrap it around. I'm gonna go through underneath, and I can just wrap it and twist it. I'm gonna cut those, 
Then we're gonna take our, we're gonna like do this, make sure our ribbon is going different directions. We're gonna take our red bow and we're gonna go over top of that. And I am gonna use another zip tie. All right, so once we get all of this, once we get all that together, I'm gonna take the little black tails here. We're gonna put on the bow. I'm gonna twist this one. Again, I would not, I think that this wire has to be like 26 or 28 gauge. Don't use that small wire. It is not worth it. Um, and honestly, I would still use the zip ties. I wouldn't even do the wire part. So now we're gonna take this and put this over top. But I wanted to do the wire just to kind of see, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> all right, so, okay. She's pretty. Isn't she pretty with all the little pretty tails coming out, the pretty ribbon? But we're gonna add one more thing. And I'm, no, I'm doing this with all my, Chris, or my fall nails, but this is for Christmas. Um, we're gonna add this really pretty little gemstone that I got from Hobby Lobby in the wedding section, but you could really go to the jewelry section or wherever. And I'm just running my wire through, let's see, I don't know. I think I wanna wire it through this one and see how it goes here. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna run it through the wire. There's little pieces. And we're just going to take it and put her over the top. And I just think she's gonna be such a good addition to this wreath, to this bow. Okay, I just gotta find where I'm gonna put it through here, guys. Hold on. This side. And this side. You could use glue, but I'm gonna use a wire, okay? All right, I got her. I got the jewel, and it's just gonna make a really pretty accent to this bow. But if you watched all the way through this video, would you leave me a bow in the comments? And I'm so excited for the holidays. I hope you are too. I hope you're getting excited to decorate your trees and your home for Thanksgiving and for just fall. And I hope that this takes a little bit of fear out of making bows because you can make bows just like this. And um, guys, I have a ton of bow videos. So check out the bow playlist down below in the description box and um, learn how to make bows like this. I hope you like this week's video. And again, if you watched all the way through, leave me a bow emoji in the comments and tell me which bow was your favorite. We will see you next week at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Julie's Wreath Boutique. Bye-bye.